The whole series in SOLIDWORKS allows you to treat an assembly of parts like a sandwich, and then you can specify your clearance for your first, middle, and last components of that assembly stack. In this case, what you'll notice is I've got four components in a stack, and I'm just going to select the top component and drop in a whole series. Now, a whole series is an assembly feature, which is, means that it's going to automatically propagate back to the parts. So I'm just going to drop in four holes, and you'll notice in the left, I have a multi-stage property manager. So if I select on the first component, I can specify whether I want a counterbore, a countersink, or a through hole, and all the specifications as I would normally see in the hole wizard. I can then specify my middle condition, whatever those middle components are. I can auto size or I can specify. And then I can also specify the last component if I want a through hole or if I want it tapped so the bolt will just thread right into the component. If I wanted it to stop at, let's say, component three, I could select that as the end component and the stack would stop there. Now, what's nice about the whole series is it does integrate with Toolbox. So if you have Toolbox, you can have this whole series place the fastener for you. So now you'll notice that you get a preview. I can also throw in, let's just say, a regular nut on the end of the stack. And so now what you'll notice is not only does it put that nut in, but it auto lengthens the fastener and places the fastener properly. If I hit OK, it goes ahead and puts that in. I have the correct length, and I have something that transposes the entire stack in one shot. Now what's also nice about this is that you may want to be able to do certain operations that allow you to be a little bit more fancy. So what you'll notice is in this case, you'll see those four bolts. You'll notice that if I open up component three, the holes are properly placed. So I can ensure that I have alignment. But here's what's nice. I'm going to show you another feature. I'm going to keep the, the whole series, but I want to show you what happens if I didn't use the integrated function of adding toolbox parts. So I'll just delete these fasteners. And now what I'm going to use is smart fasteners. Now I know a lot of you probably use smart fasteners. Maybe you've had mixed reviews or mixed results. A lot of times I've seen issues when you use it with just standard cut through holes and even sometimes with hole wizard holes. But what's nice about using the whole series is you have a little bit more information about that stack that the smart fastener can actually tap into. So let me show you. If I select this face and just insert the smart fastener, I'll get a little warning just letting me know that if I have a large assembly, it may take a little time to figure it out. But what you'll notice is this will automatically stick the fastener in just like it did before. But here's the nice thing. Notice I have this ability to edit the groupings. So what I can do now is I can say, well, actually, in this case, I want to edit the grouping, and I want to see the stack. So this component, this specific component, goes through four components, and I can see that. Now, you'll notice if I hover, you can see that this is actually part three. So let's say in this case, I want these four bolts to not go all the way through. I want a series of bolts up here in those holes, and in these holes, I want a series of bolts that oppose it. So I don't have to do this in two steps. I can actually just drag this up the tree, drop it on the top of the group, and I'll get a prompt to split. And if it splits, if I say yes, it'll calculate new lengths. If I say no, it'll use the same long bolt. So I'm going to say yes. You'll notice it'll split the group. So now I've got two pieces. And now what I can do is I can split that out, look at the bottom series, and I can actually flip that one. And so now I can go through and actually change the fasteners. I can do anything that I want to if I want these to be con continually, you know, continually separate. Um, but what's nice is it maintains the same holes. They stayed aligned, and I did it all in one operation.